this is high culture. Well, I've no giggling on the set. I'm Robin Stonebridge, I, I chair the Chesterfield Canal Trust and we're here at Staveley today uh, in beautiful sunshine, hence my dark glasses, um, for our canal festival. It's the second year we've been here since the basin opened and as you can see there are lots and lots of people about really enjoying themselves. We're really going from strength to strength, um, got lots and lots of activities on at the moment. Uh, the restoration team are down in the lock at Staveley, here at Staveley Town Lock, the new one. Uh, demonstrating how they're going to rebuild that. We've had a very successful lock fund. We've raised over £23,000 to get the, the lock started. Um, and as I say, the restoration team are down there and at it today. Uh, we've got uh, the James Brindley promotion trailer, lots of people visiting that. We've got all three of the trips, uh, the trip boats here and they're doing shuttle services up and down the canal. People really enjoying being on the water, being around the water, walking, cycling, canoeing, just what it's all about. Hello, my name's Jane Collins. I'm actually from Stavely Hall Garden Nursery. Um, we are actually looking at uh, improving the roundabout in Stavely, the new one at Hall Lane, which is actually uh, linked to the canal. Uh, we've actually had um, some children from Netherthorpe School doing an art exhibition and coming up with a design for the actual uh, roundabout itself. Uh, we have donated a, 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 a clinker boat and uh, Barrow Hill have actually donated a railway cabin and we want to push it on the roundabout and sort of attract people to Staveley, like the, you know, the heart of Staveley. And I'd like to just show you some artwork that the children have done at Netherthorpe. Uh, they came together and they were given a project to do all the children and um, this is the artwork that I'm showing you here now. And we had a first, second and third prize winner and we've asked them to put one uh, uh, like a composite uh, plan together about what the artwork would look like. And uh, this is the design. And uh, this design here is actually what we're hoping that the roundabout will look like eventually, probably by the end of this year. And so it's actually got a lot of sponsorship and support from the local community, which is absolutely fantastic. And the children have been brilliant. I want to say thank you very much for their efforts. It's been brilliant. Well, I'm glad you're able to come back again. I uh, hope you're going to enjoy the Canal Festival this year. We've got uh, even more going on than we had last year. Um, we have uh, managed this year because the site's now a bit more mature. We've got stuff actually on the main events area, which is behind me. As you can hear the marquee in the background blaring away, we've got lots of uh, local bands and groups playing during the course of the day. And we've got a concert on Saturday night with the Swing Commanders. We've also managed to put the fairground where it should be, which is down on the, uh, the side of the canal. And we've got the canoeists and the, uh, the boaters down there as well. So if you fancy a boat trip or learning how to canoe, this is the place to come. Trust at Hardwick today and um, we're here promoting Hardwick and also the National Trust's 50 things to do before you 11 and 3 quarters campaign and it's all about getting families and children outdoors and close to nature so we've got lots of activities that they can do here today such as racing snails, making wild art, making a grass trumpet, running around barefoot, hopefully not running around in the rain but for every activity they do they can get a sticker in their book and we're promoting all the activities we've got on for families at Hardwick through the summer as well. What's, uh, what's happening here is we're seeing the very first block of the wall of the new Stabley Town Lock being laid. And this is the uh, Chesterfield Canal Work Party. Um, we've been busy on this canal since well before I joined and doubtless they'll continue long after I leave. Um, and they're laying the very first block. It doesn't seem very much when you're you think about it, it's just one guy with a piece of concrete, but for these people, they've been waiting years to do what they're doing there. And that's the very first part of what will be a huge structure. And it'll all be built by volunteer labor. So it has quite a bit of meaning to them. Oh, when it's full of water, that will be uh, roughly, uh, the water depth will be roughly where his head is when he's standing up. Um, and the, uh, the water coming in, comes in at the level of the top of the, the brick structure to the, uh, to the left of where you're looking now. So it, uh, the boats will drop by about three metres or nine feet when they're inside the lock. That's it. It's one small concrete brick. 
for one giant leap for the Canal Trust.